All right, good evening, everybody. Can you hear me okay? This is uh, John with Traders Reserve. Just want to make sure my mic level is as good as Norman's was for the music. All right. Good evening, everybody. Welcome, and uh, to all of our Project M members, very glad and excited to see you all here. And uh, I knew I could count on Norman to, uh, to get us charged up after the work day. Uh, after another red day, if you will, in the markets so that we can uh, get down to business. A little bit of background uh, to set everything up. Um, I've had the good fortune and what I consider a unique pleasure of knowing Norman Hallett for the last three years. And uh, I'm going to introduce him for you and then let him take the show over from there. But I want to set it up so that you see how this fits into the context of the Project M program the Project M trading plan and that sort of as we, we as part of Project M we promised that uh, we'd give you additional education that would help you make a better trader a more complete trader and tonight is sort of step one in that process and the, one of the reasons that I'm really excited to bring Norman to you is because he's uniquely positioned to help you and the reason for that is for the last 30 years Norman has been in and around uh, the trading markets. He's a former CTA. Uh, he's he's been on both sides of the trading, uh, both sides of the trading line as a as sort of a broker seller and as a trader himself. And what you're about to learn from that, from his 30 plus years of experience, is that he's been there. He's done that, and it's through his experiences that he's been able to develop what I view as some of the best discipline and mental training that is vital to your success, not just with Project M, but in your entire career as a trader or investor. So as we've been preaching to you, uh, patience, sticking to the rules of the Project M trading plan, tonight Norman is going to give you the mental training foundation to do exactly that and to help you stick with your plan and learn to trust yourself um, as you become a more powerful and profitable trader over time. And he's going to be talking about uh, nuggets. And I think the best way that I find to describe uh, what Norman calls nuggets is if you think back to uh, sort of the 1800s gold rush, and everybody went out and they panned the river, and they found little nuggets of gold. Well, Norman's nuggets are those nuggets of gold in that their value of each of these nuggets far exceeds the size of the nugget itself. And you'll see that as he takes you through each of his individual nuggets. So uh, before I break out into song and dance, I'm going to save myself and say, Norman Hallett, thank you very much for taking time to join us tonight and teaching us what you know from your experience. Oh, John, beautiful. I mean, that's it has got to be up there with the best introductions. I appreciate it. Thank you, everybody, for being here, all the Project M people. Uh, this, is, um, this is going to be just 45 minutes, really, of uh, five nuggets that I really want to give you. Um, and John is right. The, the nuggets, as I define them, are uh, statements that are really va more valuable than, than what you think they are when you first look at them. But a more specific definition would be... Um, if you look at the, I, let's say we have about almost 2,000 people that we've put through our Discipline Trader training and support program over the last two years. We run these programs quarterly. And out of those, all those people that we've trained, we've um, discovered that there are a few things that we do in that training that results in a quantum leap in discipline, getting you from a certain area of struggle to an area of success in one quantum leap. You know, every trader has kind of a tipping point, a uh, point at which um, th that just a small element sometimes is, is enough to make you disciplined from non-disciplined. And I want to give you the importance of that in a second from a, a couple of studies. Uh, but I, I do want to say to you that the five nuggets that you will get today have delivered that quantum leap for more than just a few of the students that we've trained. So uh, we'll be very clear with them. You'll be able to apply these nuggets 
for yourself. Um, so you really, I, I hope you're in for a treat here and you get something uh, that, I know you'll get something that you'll be able to use uh, at the end of the, uh, of the program here. Okay, let's get started. That's the title, Five Trading Discipline Nuggets to Get You Disciplined Now. And that's who I am. I'm familiar with that, so I'm going to go to the next slide. Uh, again, the Trading Discipline Nugget, over observing over 1,500 students uh, over three years. Actually, it's closer to, uh, I actually did the count to, to 2,000. Uh, and over three years, it's more like 15 or 20,000 if you include all of our training softwares and other things that we've done. One move equals a quantum leap in discipline. All right, let's get to it. Trading Discipline Nugget number one. Maintaining a positive trading environment. Now, this may sound like a very general trading um, piece of advice, but it is so important that when, uh, when adhered to, truly adhered to, maintaining a positive trading environment will result for most people. This could be the most general and most easily to apply nugget maintaining a positive trading environment and we're going to be go coming back to this nugget when we talk about other nuggets because it always it always involves being positive about your training you need to separate first your workspace as a business only workspace very important that you uh, consider your trading space hallowed ground you need to understand that you're in a business and you need to frame your trading as a business and be serious about it and you know some of you and I, I know that I only trade now about 90 minutes a day I do my studying about 30 minutes I watch the markets and wait for my opportunity in, in charts that I know will give me that opportunity that I make my play put in my GTC stop and it's over now maybe if, if you're as old as I am you like to trade off of uh, daily and weekly charts makes your life a lot easier and you find that you're trading less and making more but if you need the action then uh, and, and that's good I've done well with the action you have to uh, again identify your not again but I haven't mentioned this I always mention this identify looking to yourself first for who you are the kind of trading that you should uh, be involved with before you go on to uh, to building your trading plan or whatever but it starts with your trading workspace you know there is a there's a lot there's a door L listen I work out of my home in Florida it's a um, uh, it's a nice it's a modest four bedroom house with on a beautiful piece of property and it's beautiful here I mean I it's 85 degrees I know I'm I'm making some of you angry today. I was just in New York uh, making the same presentation for the Chicago Mercantile Exchange at the Chicago or at the um, at the Traders Expo, and I would have gotten a standing a, a, a standing ovation on this presentation if it wasn't toward the end of the day, because I know they were clapping like, like mad, but they were too tired to stand up. So uh, I, I know I would have gotten it. There's one person that stood up. Yes, he started to walk also, but he stood up and clapped so I, I think it'll like this separate workspace business only environment is very important when you 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 draw a line see I in my in my uh, house here I use one of the back bedrooms okay got my desk got my screens got everything going my wife who knows that I'm trading back here actually knocks on the door before coming in I mean why why would your own wife knock on the door because she knows that I'm involved I'm 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 focused totally on my trading and if she wants to interrupt me then it's it's all about interrupting my trading and she wants to make sure that that's okay so uh it's in, it's it's important to you to have that same consider have your others have that same consideration for you when you're doing your thing there's nothing worse than having uh, a trading mistake based on uh, based on your uh, being having been interrupted by a TV or a phone call or whatever you need to maintain your workspace define yourself as a professional trader you either are a professional trader or you are not and I think that that's a big problem with with uh, a lot of traders especially who have who are starting those uh, and and even those that have blown out two or three accounts and there's probably a f more than a few of you on this uh, on this webinar tonight you 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 need to see yourself and whether you believe you are or not right now you need to begin to see yourself and what what you see will then become and we'll go through that a little bit 
uh, later in the presentation, but you need to define yourself as a professional trader. And a professional trader acts in a certain way. A professional trader is blocks out distractions. A professional trader does uh, his uh, work in an orderly fashion, takes a look at his charts, uh, defines what his anticipated moves, and then makes those moves when the signals are given. Very simple, but very hard for the unprofessional trader. You must frame yourself as a professional trader. And this maintains, again, the positive attitude. And one of the biggest things that, that you need to take care of is to make sure that you no longer are exposed to blowout trades. That trade that uh, results in enough of a loss to wipe out the last four or five or six winners or even uh, the last month of profit in one trade, whether it's the result of a revenge trade where you traded a few times, you missed something, or you, you didn't trade and you missed something and you piled it all into one trade, or, or whatever it is, you, or, or, or trade, actually they usually come the other way in my experience, where you have a series of small winners, then load on a, 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 a trade that, uh, that breaches your risk management parameters and winding up with your uh, with with a blowout trade when you have a blowout trade it is one and the same really with a punch in the solar plexus uh, when you take a, a, a one trade hit of 10 or 15 percent that's not going to serve you it's going to take the wind out of you and turn the positive into a negative all of a sudden the blame starts why didn't I do that you're either blaming yourself or you're blaming the market or the floor trader who took your stop and went up again it all becomes blame you need to avoid the blowout trade this is critical this is the trade this is the this is the point that if managed correctly if you can and, and it's all about the risk management. You should never be taking a risk of greater than 3% in an individual trade or 5.5% in a portfolio trade. These are the numbers that I use. Sure, you can make it 3.5% or 6%, but you don't want to breach those levels too, too much. You want to stay right at those levels from experience and from training many traders to move from struggle to success. If you can maintain an individual trade at a 3% risk level. Now, you may say, well, my account is so small and I, I can't. I say either stop trading and make your account large enough uh, with a part-time job to be able to, uh, to design your trades, each individual trade with a 3% loss maximum. Or choose or, or move down in the time frame of the bars that you're looking at, if, even if you have to go to a one-minute chart in order, to, uh, in order to act on the same formations and, uh, and still adhere to a 3% level. So when you do that, when you lose three in a row and you, even you're maximized at, um, at 3%, and you usually won't. You'll have a trade at 1%, 1 at 2 a couple at 3 You can lose four in a row and still be under a 10% loss. You can start with a, a $10,000 account and still be above 9000 with four losses in a row. This is where you want to be. You, it's all about building confidence. It's all about staying positive, And it's all about resisting or, or preventing the blowout trade. You do not want to have a blowout trade at all costs. Okay, you should. It's uh, people that come to me and say, "Well, I have this big trade that blew out." I say, "You're undisciplined. You're you're not. You know this. Well, can't go into too much detail. We have a lot to cover, but I think I've made my point with blowout trades. 